Hi guys, welcome to the Artist Server. So, this is kind of an impromptu video. While I was processing a bunch of cards, uh, getting them ready for sale in my store, I came across this card. And this, if you are familiar with these HBAs, this is, uh, well, it kind of looks like a IBM M1015, uh, also known as the LSI SAS, uh, well, LSI 9220-8i. Well, I suspect that this is a counterfeit. So a while ago, I think last year, or a little bit longer than that, I made a video uh, showing you guys how to spot counterfeit stuff on eBay. And the suggestions I gave you in that video do not apply to this card at all. And that's what makes this card rather interesting. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link in the corner uh, there for you to go check it out. Uh, definitely recommend you uh, check that out if you're shopping on eBay there are a lot of counterfeit stuff uh, going around on eBay and if you don't want if you want to avoid those things I give you a few couple of tips however some of those tips unfortunately do not apply to this card so one of the tips I suggested was that if you're looking for stuff on eBay uh, especially LSI cards look at the photos carefully and make sure that the LSI logo is printed on the PCB board I find that a lot of counterfeiters somehow skip that step and they don't print the LSI um, logo uh, on the PCB board. But in this case, as you can see clearly, the logo is right there. All right, so this again is the M1015 or the 9220-8i. Let me show you what a genuine one looks like. So that is the genuine one. And let me bring this a little closer to the camera. I don't know if you can tell through the camera, but the first thing that I noticed that made me a little bit suspicious and made me want to look into this a little bit closer is that the finish of the PCB is much duller on the the uh, the one that's suspected to be counterfeit, uh, while the original one, um, the genuine one, you can see is kind of a shiny green, where this is a very dull green. So that immediately caught my attention when I saw this card. And then I decided to look, kind of look into this a little bit further, and then I found all sorts of other uh, kind of indicators that this there's something's not right, and I suspect it's a counterfeit. So the second thing that immediately caught my attention after noticing that the PCB uh, was much duller, and I'll give you guys a moment here to kind of take a look at this and see if you can spot the difference as well. Oh, here, let me bring one closer to the camera. And then I'll bring the other to the camera here. So I don't know if you can tell, but I immediately noticed that the heat sink was different. And this is a very, very common um, sign of a counterfeit. So the counterfeiters tend to try to save a few bucks. And one of the easiest ways to save a few bucks is to make a smaller, lighter heat sink. And so immediately you'll see that the fins look a little bit closer together versus the original one. The fins are not uh, a little bit more spread apart. And then you'll, you'll see a cutout here, a round cutout for the retention pin. Whereas here there's no round cutout, it's just a straight cut to make uh, space for the retention pin. But the biggest difference isn't so much what you, I'm just pointing out so far. The biggest difference is if you look at it from the side, the heat sink, I'll bring this up to the camera, but I'll also measure it so you can, uh, here, let's see. Let's see if I can get this in the camera right. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but the heat sink is a lot thinner. All right, so let me actually measure this. So this is the suspected counterfeit one. And if I measure the heat sink, and this is gonna be in millimeters, it comes out to about, see if you can, I don't know if you can see that, but it comes out to about 7.5 millimeter thick. All right, so let's look at the genuine one. And this comes out to about one centimeter. So 10, about 10 millimeters thick. So they've shaved off basically 25% of the thickness of the heat sink for this cart. 
So when I when I noticed that, I, the first thing immediately, you know, when I saw the PCB finish was different, I was kind of like, ah, maybe, you know, this is a little bit suspect, but let me look at it a little bit more. When I noticed that the heatsink was much smaller, um, immediately, you know, alarms went off in my head. This is probably a counterfeit. So then I continued looking further, and the next thing I noticed was the RAID key um, pins right here. If you look at the original one, you'll see that there are these two kind of plastic um, tabs that are right next to it, whereas this one, you'll see, does not have those two plastic tabs. It's just one tab in the middle. So, yeah, so that's definitely different. I'm not even sure of the RAID key. I don't have the RAID key with me right now, but I don't think that the RAID key would actually even fit. So here, let me put them side by side, see if you can compare them. So you notice that this has two tabs, and this only has one. So that's definitely different on this card. Then another thing I noticed that was different, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, so this is a genuine one, and you'll notice that the ports are labeled zero and port one. Port zero, port one. The right side is zero, the left side is one. On the suspected counterfeit card, it's reversed. The right side is port one, the left side is port zero. Now this is interesting because this card came already with IT mode firmware on it. And in I, with IT mode firmware, that's actually the right ordering. Okay, so this port will be uh, ports, you know, zero through three, and then this is four through seven. Um, the port order is reversed versus when you have the IBM firmware. The IBM firmware actually goes, um, this port being zero through three, and then four through seven. And so it's interesting that this already came with IT mode firmware and that they labeled the ports uh, in accordance to, I guess, what the IT, firmware, IT mode firmware would expect these ports to be. So that was also a little bit different and, you know, kind of further, I guess, convincing me that this is a counterfeit. Now, something else that was also very different, when I powered this guy on, I noticed that there were two LEDs. There are, there's an LED right here, and this is the normal heartbeat LED that's right in this corner right here. But there's also another LED right here next to this capacitor, or this inductor rather. And so this area right here is kind of the power supply to the card. Uh, the 12 volts come into the card and then they get split out into uh, a step down to various, uh, like a 3.3 volt and I think there's like a 1.8 volt and uh, other voltages are, are required by the card. And this LED turns on whenever this, this power supply, uh, these co power supply components get power. On the, and this is part of the LSI reference design, but usually the M1015 cards like this, you'll see there is a, um, a spot for you to uh, solder that LED, LED there, but it's usually vacant. They don't usually put that LED in here. And so I immediately noticed that this has two LEDs when it turns on, and the original cards don't. They only have the heartbeat LED. So that's also another difference that made me suspect that this is a counterfeit card. Uh, another thing I noticed was that this PCB board, and I know this is probably going to be hard to see in the camera, but I'm going to try to show you guys anyway, is a little bit warped. So let me put the straight edge next to it. And I don't know if you'll be able to notice it, but this PCB board is a bit warped. And so the straight edge has probably have a gap in the middle. Um, and it's not unusual for me to occasionally see some PCB boards that are a little bit warped. Um, just I think it just happens in manufacturing. But uh, that was just another thing that just kind of, you know, I noticed about this card. Now, what was even more interesting is that if you look at the label right here, so this is supposed to be the IBM uh, FRU label and has the IBM uh, number there. And it says made in Malaysia. Now, I know Malaysia does manufacture a lot of electronics as well, uh, amongst the many other uh, Asian countries. 
But then on the back of this PCB, it says, oh, assembled in Thailand. And so that was very inconsistent. If you look at, and I've never seen that mix, by the way. Um, if you look at the genuine one, it's, the sticker here says, you know, made in Thailand and assembled in Thailand. And so that's consistent and um, normal, but this not so normal. Some other things I noticed, if you look at the back, there are a variety of stickers. And if you look at, let's look at the genuine one first. So if you look at the genuine one, um, there is a SAS address sticker right here. There is uh, an LSI uh, model number and assembly number sticker right here. And there's usually a sticker on the flash chip. And there's also a serial number sticker right here. And there's the sticker that says SAS 9240-8i, uh, which is also another designation for very similar cards. Um, so the, all these stickers, and especially the serial number, the uh, board name and assembly number, and the SAS address sticker, usually use the same font. And this is consistent, more or less. But if you look at the suspected counterfeit card, the fonts are different. So the font here is a little bit kind of uh, broader than the font used for the serial number. And definitely the font for the SAS address is completely different than these two other stickers. Uh, in addition to that, you don't see the sticker on the flash chip. And although there is the sticker that also says 9240-8i, the design, um, I don't know what that logo is on that sticker, but you can see that the, the uh, sticker design is different as well. Now, in, in addition to all the differences in quirkiness and weirdness and very suspicious things about this card, um, when I powered this on, it, it does have, like I said, it has the IT mode firmware. Um, it appears to kind of work, uh, but the LEDs here are always amber. So I don't know what that is about. Um, that's not normal. Usually they are off. These are the SAS port activity LEDs right here. And uh, they will flicker green whenever there's activity on one of these ports. Uh, but otherwise they're off. And with this card, they are always amber. So not sure what that's about. But anyway, uh, this is probably, if this really is a counterfeit, and I suspect it is due to all the things I've described so far, um, this is probably the most sophisticated counterfeit that I've ever seen. So I thought that was kind of interesting. So anyway, if you guys are out there shopping for these cards, um, be very careful if you want to avoid counterfeit cards. Um, they seem to be getting a little bit more sophisticated these days, uh, or at least, you know, I don't know when this was made, but um, this is the first time a card like this has um, crossed my path. And yeah, definitely, it, it looks it looks pretty good, but you know, um, but definitely not too hard to point out. If you, once you have a genuine one in front of you, it's not too hard to notice all the little subtle differences that are there. So anyway, I want to share that with you guys. Um, if you want to avoid uh, running into counterfeit cards, uh, go watch that other video I made, but also uh, take note of the things that I've pointed out. Um, or even better, uh, I will never ever sell counterfeit cards like this one. Um, even if this, you know, I mean, like I said, you never really know, but I highly suspect that this is a counterfeit card due to all the reasons I've mentioned. Um, I will not sell this in my store. And uh, the only cards I will sell in my store are the ones that I believe are genuine. And so um, that's another way to avoid counterfeit is to shop at my eBay store. And that's the artist server on eBay. And I'll leave a link to my store down in the video description below. Go check it out. So anyway, um, even if you don't shop at my store, just, you know, be careful out there. There's a lot of stuff that is a little shady. And so I just wanted to share this information with you guys so you'll know what to look out for. All right, guys, if you like this video, make sure to give me that thumbs up 
And uh, if you're new to the channel, you know, make sure to subscribe to see more uh, videos like this one. And of course, if you want to support my channel, go check out my eBay store. Link in the video description below. Thank you very much, guys. Bye-bye.